Apple seems to already have defined the iPhone 6 launch date. More Galaxy Alpha leaks show us just how much this device looks like the iPhone, and what is going to happen with the Google Play Edition phones. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, please tell your lady friend that not all men were created equal. Some of us are worse, actually. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are about smartwatches, especially the original Pebble. Those of you that were wondering if this product was dead, that's actually far from true. The company has just launched it in new limited edition colors that are almost gender specific, but uh, the colors are there, they're available, they'll cost you the same $150. And uh, even though it's a hard sell for a plastic Pebble whenever you have the Android Wear offerings, plus, you know, the Pebble Steel, hey, you know, that makes a good gift for a kid. Now let's talk about some Motorola rumors. We've got two today. Number one, let's talk about the future Moto G. We already know that the phone is apparently going to be very similar to the previous model, but it turns out that apparently it's going to grow in size. It's going to be a five inch display compared to the previous one. But even more interesting is that we have new listings for a Motorola Verizon device. And the interesting news here is that when you start looking into the details of what phone this is, this is the Moto X plus one. So hopefully this is not going to be a Verizon exclusive. Now let's talk about Apple and specifically the iPhone 6. If you're wondering when the event is happening, some credible sources are already chiming in apparently. It'll happen on September 9th as it historically has on early September. And then you'll be getting it 10 days later as it historically has happened with the iPhone 5 as iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5 as well. Uh, this uh, source does have a really good track record, so we can assume that this will be true, but uh, it's really hard to predict if we are getting both iPhones at the same time. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. If you were wondering if this phone is coming to the United States, it will. We've got some leaked code names of everything we can expect from the codes and what carriers are being supported. Link to the description. But even more interesting is that, my God, look at the leaked photos of this phone. If you look at it from the side, it is extremely hard to tell it apart from an iPhone 5S. Yes, Samsung is probably looking for another lawsuit, though we can't deny that even though the phone is probably going to be more of a mid-ranger, it's really not badly designed. It looks really good. Reminds me of the Lumia 925. And finally, for the interesting and uh, sort of disappointing news of the day, if you were interested in getting the Galaxy S4 Google Play Edition, which we doubt, it's no longer on the list, and uh, no, the Galaxy S5 did not switch for it. It's not available. All options you have right now are the Moto G and the HTC One M8. Both great options, but uh, we keep losing phones and tablets that are Google Play Edition products. that are no longer there. We don't get any replacements, and it seems that Google is killing everything in order to prepare for whatever Android Silver is going to be or whatever the Nexus 6 is going to be. Uh, but that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think happened to these Google Play Edition products? Do you think that Google is just ditching them and you know they're just selling whatever stock they have left? Because in my particular case, I do feel that the Google Play Edition concept failed, not because it was bad, but because it was crazy expensive. It just didn't make sense for you to pay so much money for a product you could pretty much get on the Nexus 5 for half the price. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, yes, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.